Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about your modem and your router, and we're answering the question if your modem and router can be connected wirelessly. Spoiler alert, the answer to that question is no, but in this video we'll talk about why exactly that is, we'll talk about maybe why you want to connect these two devices wirelessly in the first place, and what are some things you can do as alternatives to that. To understand why your modem and router, as I failed to pick it up, <laughs> as your, why your modem and router can't connect to each other, we need to understand the responsibilities of each device. So when it comes to your modem, your modem has a very specific job. And that job is to establish a connection with your internet service provider and then maintain that, that connection. So you have an active internet connection to your house using your active internet plan with your internet service provider. On the other hand, your router has, also has a very specific job. Your router's job is to take the internet connection that is established by your modem and make that available to your devices in both a wired and wireless capacity. Your router is the reason why your home has Wi-Fi, but you can also connect devices directly to your router to provide them with a wired internet connection as well. So that's the first important thing that we have to keep in mind here. So now that we've gone over what your modem and router are responsible for in terms of their jobs in your home network, let's dive a little bit deeper into why they might not be able to connect wirelessly. The biggest, well, the reason for this is because your modem is built for only for wired communications. What I mean by that is your modem will connect to your internet service provider, provider in a wired capacity. Here's an example of my modem. It's a cable modem. So my cable modem connects to my internet service provider with this coaxial cable, which leads to a wire outside of my home that's wired all the way to my internet service provider. So in order for the modem to fulfill its job, it doesn't need wireless capability. It doesn't need to be able to communicate with any devices wirelessly because it's talking to the internet service provider over a wire, a wired connection. Conversely, when we look at your router, as I mentioned, your router is responsible for providing the devices in your home with an internet connection, no matter how they're connected to your router. That means it can happen wirelessly or your devices can connect to these ethernet ports in the back of your router for a wired internet connection. So it's pretty clear there. The router's job is to communicate both over in a wired capacity and wirelessly to your devices. So your router has all of the wireless hardware that it needs. Your modem, on the other hand, does not. There is no wireless network interface card. There are no antennas, as you can see here. Your modem is just not made for wireless communication. And it's simply because that's not its job. This is why we need to connect our modem and router with an ethernet cable because your modem isn't able to connect to anything over Wi-Fi. Conversely, if your modem did have wireless capability, why would you need your router in the first place? If your modem could communicate to devices or the devices in your home network over Wi-Fi, then there's no point in even having a router in the first place. And what's actually interesting is that there are some devices that combine the functionality of a modem and router. And these are call, called modem router combination devices. And in those instances, it's literally 
one device, say it'll look like your router, but it is also able to establish that connection with your internet service provider. And in those cases, you only need one device for your home network. But this instance that we're talking about here, we have a standalone modem, a standalone router, and we're trying to figure out if we can connect them wirelessly. The answer is no. If we're looking for a device to blame, it's because your modem doesn't have the wireless hardware and the, the capability to communicate with other devices wirelessly. Now let's talk about maybe why you would want to connect your modem and router wirelessly in the first place. I think the reason for that is because you probably want to have your router far away from your modem. So if you have a cable internet modem like I do, and the connection to the internet service provider is in a room that I don't use often or I don't access the internet in that room, it would make sense to have your router somewhere else where you're going to be using the internet the most. Unfortunately, because we have to connect our modem and router together with an ethernet cable, we're a little bit limited in that capacity. With that being said, as long as the ethernet cable connecting your modem and router is 328 feet long or less, you're not going to experience any performance deficiencies. So if you can, if it's possible to have a long ethernet cable connecting your modem and router, then you'll be just fine. I understand that this is an issue for a lot of people. They don't want an ethernet cable snaking all throughout their house to connect their modem and router. And another alternative there, you can get a, a Wi-Fi repeater which basically takes your internet connection and blasts it and amplifies it to other areas of your house. So that way you can have a strong Wi-Fi signal in the areas of the house that are far away from your router. And what I'll do is I'll, log, I'll link to a blog post down below that talks about these alternatives, goes into a little bit more depth, and will hopefully give you some ideas if you're in a situation where you access the internet far away from where your modem is connected to your internet service provider. If you have any questions about this information, as always, you can leave a comment down below. And other than that, I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll see you on the next one.